Press the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon as a sign of support. What is up YouTube? It's your host Ineli Gamer here. In this video, we'll be showing you two of the awesome Town Hall 10 3-star attacks. The first base is this one. This is a maxed out Town Hall base with maxed out Infernos and Expos. And the Queen and the King are also high leveled. Well, if you see the current meta bases, all the air defenses are generally located to one side of the base. And all the remaining defenses along with the Archer Queen are located on the other side of the base. So this is what you find generally on day-to-day -day wars and you can use this kind of attack to destroy such kind of bases. So the attack was plain and simple but excellently planned. He first created a line of minions to take out this extra buildings. He also dropped a baby dragon over here to make a very nice funnel. So a very nice perfect funnel was made by the use of minions as well as the baby dragon. The next step was to drop the archer queen on this cannon over here. So he dropped the archer queen over here break open this wall, enter this compartment, use the heal spells on the archer queen as well as the healers to take down two of these air defenses. Then he dropped a very nice jump spell over this wall helping the archer queen to move into the second segment over here and the archer queen alone was able to take down this two air defenses as well as this two air defenses along with all the buildings. So pretty much he divided this whole base into two sections. The Archer Queen was responsible to take down this portion of the base and the remaining portion of the base was gone by the usage of dragons as well as balloons. He used dragons and the balloons along with the heal spell for the dragons and one rage spell also for the dragons and a couple of haste spell for the balloons and they were able to successfully take out this entire bottom section of the base with the help of the powerful usage of the dragons and the loons. So we'll now run into the replay of this attack and see how it was beautifully carried out. So the attacker starts his attack. By the way, the attacker is Devon the Walter from our clan. He is a very good Town Hall 10 attacker and he beats this base very nicely. So here is the baby dragon for creating the funnel and couple of minions also. So basically a perfect funnel was made for his archer queen and the healers to go into this compartment of the base. So now it is time to drop the archer queen and the healers. Couple of wall breakers, a test wall breaker and followed by the remaining wall breakers to break open that segment of the wall. Now the archer queen will be moving into that segment and the minions are able to clean up the extra buildings to create a very nice funnel for archer queen to go into the base and get those air defenses. First of the rage spell is down, archer queens is at full health, healers are doing their job pretty well. There will be a jump spell dropped exactly over here. The Archer Queen will be able to access the second compartment containing two of the another air defenses. So here is the thing guys, he immediately dropped the dragons as well as the loons in the bottom end section after the clan castle was lured by the Archer Queen at the top end section. A poison spell for the clan castle, haste spell for the loons, rage spell for the dragons when they are near the inferno tower, the loons are doing some serious damage, dragons are doing their own thing, barbarian king at the bottom end, dragons and the loons were under the heal spell over there because there was huge firepower involved, one of the rage spells used at the top to keep the archer queen alive, so all the spells basically used at this moment and we still have so many of the defenses however. The dragons are so powerful and good tanks to help the loons survive this damage and the archer queen is also at full health. So guys, this is how you can take down enemy town hall tents containing maxed out defenses and having the air defenses on a particular side of the base. Only you need to do is that you need to divide the section into two parts. The archer queen with the healers should be able to take down all the four air defenses and the remaining portion of the base can be three starred by the use of the dragons and the loons. A great attack and an excellent way to three stars the new meta bases of having the air defenses located on one side of the base. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me so this base was three starred by our clan member Big Mac. 
and he used the witch slap attack on down hall 10. Guys, this base is a pretty much maxed out base but having only one inferno tower instead of two inferno towers. So pretty much it is a max down hall 10 having all the other defenses maxed out. So the thing is he used the witch slap attack from the top end section of the base. He started the attack by dropping witches as well as the healers behind them. And then the main portion of his attack was of the golem and the bowlers along with the heroes. So he dropped the wall breakers to break open this segment of wall. He used three jump spells in this base. He dropped first jump spell here, second jump spell here and third jump spell here. Pretty much gaining access to the whole middle end section of the base. He used two raid spells in this attack. The first raid spell was dropped exactly over here and the second raid spell immediately after the first raid spell was used. The intention was to gain all the defenses to bring all those defenses down as soon as possible. It was a wonderfully planned attack and wonderfully executed attack. We'll now look at the attack and see for ourselves how awesome this attack was. So the couple of 5 witches on this end and 5 witches on this end along with 2-2 two, two healers on all those witches. Now the golem has been dropped for the tanking, wall breakers are doing their job, the king as well as the bowlers, couple of uh, funneling bowlers were dropped before dropping the main bowlers because he doesn't want his bowlers to move away from the core. So now all the bowlers are moving into the base using the jump spell. There was a tesla farm located over here, however the witches along with the healers were able to do their job, the rage spell is down, enemy clan castle troops are coming out, he has dropped all the both of the poison spells on that enemy clan castle troops. The king will be now gaining access into the queen's compartment, enemy archer queen will be taken down by the barbarian king, he'll be using his ability, while if you look at the sides, the witches, the bowlers and the healers are doing their job, the inferno tower is down, the archer queen has moved her way over to the bowlers and the witches on the left hand side of the base. The jump spell, third jump spell was pretty much not used by the troops because his main troops are now developed towards the sides of the base. Those troops are doing damage, we will now speed up the attack because ultimately this base is going down with the use of witch slap attack. So witch slap attack is also a wonderful attack that you can use at town hall 10 levels also. Because witches are so powerful at this moment that you can just spam them and get those 3 stars very effectively and very nicely. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, comment on the video and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Guys, what are you waiting for? And don't forget to turn on the bell notification icon as a sign of support. This is your host, Inelli Gamer, over and out. Yeah.